Thank you. Thanks again to the War Hill High School String Quartet under the direction of Lauren uh, Bristow. We really appreciate it. Please continue to enjoy your meal as we begin tonight's program. And I welcome Dr. Heron, superintendent of WJCC Schools to the podium. Dr. Heron? Thank you, Mr. Draper, and thank you everyone for joining us this evening. Tonight we gather to honor and celebrate the remarkable individuals who have dedicated so much of their time, energy, and passion to our school division. Your contributions across the organization have not only supported our students, <coughs> but have also enriched our entire school community. Each one of you has been instrumental in elevating WJCC schools to a standard of exceptional quality. Throughout your careers, you have demonstrated an unwavering commitment to fostering a positive, inclusive, and nurturing environment for learning. Your hard work and dedication, <coughs> dedication have inspired students and colleagues and created a legacy that will be remembered forever. As we celebrate your retirement this evening, we recognize the countless ways you've touched lives and have made a difference, whether in the classroom, an administrative role, or serving in a supporting position, your impact is profound and far-reaching. Your innovative ideas, compassionate approach, and relentless pursuit of excellence have set a high standard for every single person who follows you. Thank you so much this evening for your years of service and your dedication. As we move forward into this new chapter of your lives, know that you carry with you the sincere gratitude and admiration of our entire school community. We are here tonight to celebrate you and to express our heartfelt thanks for everything that you have done. Ms. Sarah Ortego, our school board chair, will now share a few words on behalf of the school board. I'm joined this evening by fellow school board members, um, Andrea Donner, the vice chair, Kim Hunley, uh, Amy Chen, Mike Hosang, and Randy Ripple. Members, please stand to be recognized. <laughs> Dr. Cavazza says his regrets. He got stuck with a patient this evening. Um, on behalf of my board colleagues, I am pleased to welcome you this evening. We have gathered to celebrate the milestones our retirees have achieved, to express our gratitude, and to wish you well in your future endeavors. You have been committed to reaching our shared goals, advocated for our students, and contributed to creating positive work environments. We can only hope that your time with WJCC has had a similar positive impact in your lives, both personally and professionally. Your combined years of experience and exceptional service to our community are deeply appreciated, and you will always be a welcome member of this community. We invite you to join us at events, to volunteer, or substitute, especially, as often <laughs> as you are able, and do please keep in touch. Thank you for all of your contributions to WJCC schools and for sharing your talents in this phase of your lives with us. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ortego, and school board members, thank you for your leadership in support of events such as this important one this evening. It is now time to honor this year's retirees. Unfortunately, some of our retirees were unable to join us tonight, but we hold the same appreciation for their service and wish them well in the future. For those here tonight, please join me at the podium when I call your name. I will share a little bit about your journey and the wisdom you wish to pass on to us whom you are leaving behind. And we want to present you with a small token of our appreciation for your service. Ms. Ortego, if you would join me in the front, thank you. <clears throat> Leading off tonight, Karen Armstead. Karen is retiring as a learning specialist at Patoka Elementary School. 
after serving WJC City Schools for 37 years. Yes, that deserves a clap, absolutely. She is planning a restful and relaxing retirement. Her advice to colleagues is to consider teaching as if it's a road. It's our job to meet students where they are on that road. Thank you, Karen, for your service. Mary Aswell. Mary is retiring as a teacher at Stonehouse Elementary after 14 years with WJCC schools. She looks forward to caring for her grandchild, painting, and even, even substituting a few days a week. Every time I say the word substitute, I want everybody to clap. <laughs> She shares the following advice, always stay open to new ideas, build strong relationships with your students, parents and colleagues, and most importantly, take time for yourself. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Mabel Crocker Holiday. is retiring as head custodian, a custodian at DJ Montague Elementary. Having served WJCC schools for 18 years, she plans to travel with family and friends during this next phase of life. She reminds colleagues the importance of first impressions with the quotation, your last look is someone else's first look. I had to think about that one, but great, great advice, Mabel, and thank you so much for your service. Mary Ann Cummins. Mary Ann is retiring as a first grade teacher at Norwich Elementary School. She has served WJCC schools for 24 years and plans to travel around the country, spend time with family, and enjoy gardening and knitting. Mary Ann shared her, her best career advice with us also. Find your support crew and do not hesitate to ask for help and guidance. Freely share resources and lessons with others as you collaborate. Be open to new ideas and do your best to be truly present in each moment with your students. What wonderful advice. Thank you, Mary Ann, for your service. <laughs> Annie Donnelly Marr. Annie is retiring as a teacher assistant with Bright Beginnings after enjoying nine years of service with WJCC schools. She is looking forward to improving her photography skills and spending time with family and friends after retirement. Recognizing the importance of lifelong learning, her advice to colleagues is, take advantage of every opportunity you can to expand your knowledge. Thank you, Annie, for your service. We appreciate it. Karen Downing. Karen is retiring as a special education teacher at Hornsby Middle after serving WJCC schools for 32 years. That deserves a clap, absolutely. Karen is looking forward to traveling and spending time with family. Shared with great empathy, her best advice is put yourself in the student's situation to better understand their actions. It's so true, and I know you've done this every single day. Karen, thank you for your service. <laughs> Janice Fowler. <laughs> Janice is retiring as WJCC School Supervisor of Health Services. After serving in our division for over 29 years, <laughs> Janice 
those plans to continue working as a teacher assistant were tried again, and she's now in her second job with us. <laughs> she is also expecting a new grandchild, and she hopes to spend time that she hopes to spend time with soon. She she wisely reminds us that everyone <coughs> has a story, and so we do. Thank you for your service. We wish you guys. Jeff Garris. <laughs> Jeff is retiring as a band teacher at Stonehouse Elementary after serving in our division for 23 years. He looks forward to playing golf, tennis, sailing, traveling, and a rejoining music ensemble. When asked for his best career advice, he said, Whatever mission with which you've been charged, complete it with passion, love, and with the intention of changing the world. Be more caring than necessary. Be the reason someone has a great day. Jeff, you've done that many times for our students. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Dr. Mary Glisson. Mary is retiring as a teacher at Berkeley Middle School. She served WJCC schools for 22 years and looks forward to spending time with family in retirement. She is also excited for restful Sundays free of grading and lesson planning. <laughs> she just happens to be one of our math, best math teachers in the division, so this is a, a sad moment for math. She reminds colleagues that relationship building is a component to teaching. You must know your students first she says, and offers that you should focus on practices that work best for them. Thank you, Mary, for your service. <laughs> Margaret Jones. <laughs> Margaret is retiring as a teacher assistant for Bright Beginnings. After serving WJC schools for 11 years, she plans to continue serving as a substitute <laughs> and looks forward to gardening, traveling, and spending time with her grandchildren. She kindly reminds us to bring joy in everything we do. Thank you, Margaret. <laughs> Jeanette Lockhart. Jeanette is retiring as an accounting associate for child nutrition services in operations. Before working in child nutrition services, she enjoyed being a bus driver for our division. We are very grateful for her 36 years of service. In retirement, uh, Jeanette is mostly excited to travel and her best career advice is work hard and be nice to everyone. I think we can all agree with that. Thank you so much, Jeanette, for your service. <laughs> Thomas Knuckles. <laughs> Thomas retiring from WJCC schools with 27 years of service as a technology and computer science teacher at Jamestown High. And he also, he also took our engineering program to a whole new level as well. It was amazing. He will embark on a new career with Amazon in this next chapter. He leaves us with some advice. Keep your expectations and standards high. And Tom, that's exactly what he did. Thank you for your service. Karen Perry. Make it last, it's all good. Karen is retiring as a teacher assistant at Norge Elementary. Karen has served students in WJC schools for 19 years and plans to spend time with family and focus on what she enjoys. In the spirit of her plans, her best advice is enjoy what you do 
and find something to laugh about every single day. What a great attitude. Thank you, Karen, so much for your service. Bonnie Richards. is retiring as a special education assistant at Stonehouse Elementary after more than 25 years of service at WJTC schools. Moving forward, Bonnie plans to improve her 1859 home and travel to Germany to visit her daughter. She also hopes to add a dog to her family. I may be able to help you with that. <laughs> she advises her colleagues, find something to do that you love, and if you don't love it, keep looking. What great advice. Thank you, Bonnie, for your years of service. Appreciate it. Christine Samahar. Christine is retiring as a speech pathologist with Bright's Beginnings. She's enjoyed 19 years of experience with WJCP schools. Christine spent, plans to spend time with her family and looks forward to traveling, gardening, and reading. She offers this quotation, a child's play is their work. And she shares that she has loved playing, working, and interacting with WJTC's youngest. Uh, and she says they are unique individuals with great potential for learning. What a great way to live with our children. Chris, uh, Christine, thank you so much for your service. Nancy Scott. Nancy is retiring as a health and PE teacher at Lafayette High School. She has served WJCC schools for 37 years. Yay! That is a big picture. And plans to continue working part-time while visiting our country's national parks and historic places. She reminds colleagues that the little moments matter by saying, you do the extra things, students know you care. And that's a miss you who's been a great asset to Lafayette High School. Thank, Thank you for your service. <laughs> Patricia Thompson. Pat is also retiring as a health and PE teacher at Lafayette High School after 28 years of service to WJCC schools. In retirement, she looks forward to traveling, playing sports, and finding new challenges to keep busy. Additionally, she does plan to continue coaching Lafayette's golf and boys tennis teams. Thank you for doing that. She wisely reminds colleagues to be willing to grow with each new experience. Stay committed and value personal growth. Thank you, Pat, for your service. I appreciate it. I will sub. Sub? She said you were sub. Seems like Lafayette's losing their whole PE department. I may have to, I may have to work over there next year. Dr. Patricia Tillman is retiring as WJCC's coordinator for ESL. And we're lying to nearly 12 years of service with WJCC schools. In this new phase of life, Pat looks forward to resting, recharging, and reinventing herself. She sums up her best career advice with this quotation, to thine own self be true. Actually, the rest of it is to thine own self be true, and it does follow as a night doth the day that canst not then be false to any man. Shakespeare. Wish you well. Thank you, Pat, for your service. You've done a great job for us. Thank you. John Tressler. John is retiring as a special education teacher assistant for Berkeley Middle School after serving WJCC schools for 13 years. In his retirement, 
retirement, they will man, remain active in the community by substituting in our schools. <laughs> Working with Williamsburg's adults with special needs and serving on the board of directors for Coco Family Village. Always prioritizing students, he says. Be alert to new ways of working with students that best meet them where they are. Encourage and assist our students to be the best that they can be. Thank you for doing that every day, John. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Marie Valone Lariso. Marie is retiring as an assistant principal at James River Elementary School after 25 years of service to WJCC schools. She looks forward to enjoying the little things such as hot cups of coffee and walks on the beach. Marie looks to spend forward to spending time with family, including a granddaughter that's on the way. Last week, she can't make, wait to make those doctor's appointments without hearing the words, Sorry, we don't have any late appointments. Our last appointment is four o'clock. <laughs> Marie offers her colleagues a fresh routine. Show compassion, forgive yourself, put yourself in parents' shoes when making decisions about your children. Don't forget to breathe, laugh daily, and repeat. <laughs> Thank you, Marie, for your service. Jerome Bar uh, Baracalo. Jerry is retiring as a health and PE teacher at Jamestown, Jamestown High School after enjoying 24 years of service with WJCC schools. And Jerry, you said you've coached for how long? 45. 45 years, told me earlier. Awesome. In retirement, he intends to relax as much as possible, pursue nature, photography, and explore our nation's small towns, national parks, and local festivals and wineries. You might have a few people might go with you to that <laughs> one. He advises that a simple good morning can go a long way with students, and to love what you do and do what you love. Thank you, Jerry, for your service and that great advice. <laughs> The dedication, wisdom, and talent displayed by each of our retirees is truly remarkable. Will all of our retirees please stand and let us offer another moment of appreciation for you. We offer you our deepest gratitude for your service and we wish you all the best as you embark on your next journey. I hope to see you at WJC Schools events and activities in the future. You have truly helped shape the foundation for what it means to be part of the WJCC family. Thank you so, so much. At this time, we're gonna ask all our retirees to join us at the front of the room for a group photograph. And, and really that ends our evening, but I wanna thank all friends, family, principals, colleagues, for joining us together to make this a wonderful celebration this evening. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you.